Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's that classic PlayStation logo. What's up, dudes? This is Trent, and we are going to be playing a classic, uh, never before released in the United States, classic Kojima joint. That's the old Konami logo. Remember when they were Simnominus? The Kojima name and the Konami name? Simnominus. Hey, that's kind of looks like the Ludens logo. I mean, it's different. Is Police Knots going to make a comeback? I have to wonder. Kojima has this fascination with space travel and horror. I don't know what this game is. We're going to give it a shot. Uh, I don't believe it was ever officially released in English. I believe I have a patched copy. I'm going to double check that before I start to sound silly. It says here on this website I'm at that uh, Kojima's 1996 interactive sci-fi detective story wasn't available in English until 2009. So yeah, this is a fan translation. Sweet. And all of that is really fine and dandy, but what I want to know is, could you play this game? Can we play this game in 2020, almost 2000, 2021? I want to know if this still holds up. It's very unlikely. <laughs> Brada. That's my jam. That's the, the uh, jingle that you hear before Metal Gear. But it's the whole song. Holy shit. Wait, or is it just repeat? I've heard a whole song version of this track. It's a great jingle, man. Okay, we're just going to move forward i gotta remember that uh the different button is the confirm button because japanese games had it switched around the x always means no that's an unusual intro what's neat about this by the way and the way i perceive it is this is like Kojima when he was indie. That's kind of really fascinating to me. It's like you don't have a lot of resources. You've probably got a team of only five or six people. How creative can you get? I'm going to give you the quick summary. Uh, mankind had completed the first space colony beyond coast. We finally outgrew our cradle. We're looking at beyond coast. It looks like a space station. A group of police officers trained as astronauts were charged with providing security for those expected to immigrate to the colony in 2013. Uh, from Scotland Yard. Uh, from Tokyo, from, uh, let's see, from the NYPD, uh, naming off a couple of different people. Or police knots. So they're basically space police. They definitely outsource their anime cutscenes. And they did not update their sound effects. I wonder if that's just because of the translation. He's cut loose. He's drifting into space. Danger. Tragedy strikes right away. It does have some Metal Gear vibes, like just with the interface, the colors. I kind of wonder if Metal Gear might have gone anime at some point, if not for the art direction it did end up taking. Oh, 25 years later, what happened? Did that dude just drift off into space? 
they lost one of their police knots. I don't know that that was necessarily the most engaging intro. This is definitely pre-Kojima weirdness. Well, actually, I can't guarantee that. I don't know. I've not played this. We're going to find out. I like the letterbox treatment. I have a strong appreciation for 90s style games. Yeah, this is the full song. Listen to that. Oh, beautiful. Oh man, this is like old Los Angeles 2040. This is like buckle up for some anime Blade Runner type stuff. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> Cigarettes backed around a bunch of beer with a handgun on his desk. This is before Shinkawa, pre Yoji Shinkawa. Animation sequences by AIC. See, they outsource that. Oh, Yoji Shinkawa did work on this. He's uh, credited. I didn't see what he got credited for. Was it mechanical design? Hmm. Shinta no Jiri. He's, a, uh, he's one of the designers over there at Kojima Productions. He did a bunch of sequences in Metal Gear Solid 4 that I know of. Is that the guy that directed... I don't want to say anything I don't know for certain. Written and directed by Kojima. So he wrote the script and directed the game. I know it's a much more story-driven game. I don't think there's any 3D action at all. Uh, I could be wrong. We're going to find out. Will I do a full playthrough? I don't know. Not if it stinks. If it's good and it engages me, then I'll keep going. But uh, otherwise, we're just going to find out if it's any good. I guess let me know in the comments if you want to see the whole game. There's a lot of other modern games coming out right now, but uh, it's going to be tough. My standards. わずか数年前のことにしか思えない。まだ生々しい記憶だ。妻や友人、仕事。何もかも30年前に置いてきてしまった。あの事故で過去を失った俺は、この汚れた町オールドエルエで寝越しエーター間外の探偵をしている。
She's someone else's wife now. She's a Nisei, half Japanese. Ah, Lorraine. I remember discovering my rental tux didn't fit right before the ceremony. I originally had a black tuxedo. Oh, you can actually like click on different parts. Lorraine was like an angel in her wedding dress. Lorraine had this friend at the flower shop arrange her bouquet. Yeah? In those days, my life revolved around my job and Lorraine. Let's go back. Uh, is this more pictures of Lorraine? Yeah. This is a photo of me and Lorraine at Lucas World. Lorraine was a student at UCLA. We met after her place got broken into. Oh, because he was a cop. A police nut. She was so naive. The things she'd do sometimes. What is that supposed to mean? I was a cop. Fresh out of the academy. Yeah. Young guy. Let's check out the badge. This is a replica of the badge I had at the LAPD. Sure does take me back. There's a picture from some of those days on the wall. These are Muslims, the cigarettes. The only cigarettes in the world that still give off a secondary smoke. I don't like the pure bent cigarettes you get today. These are mixed cigarettes, part conventional, part bent. Bent cigarettes are cigarettes that don't produce any secondary smoke, which you light up simply by breaking off the end. I say light, but there's no actual fire involved. They work off a chemical reaction, and even the leaves are specially processed. They don't give off any smoke or ash and make a room more pleasant, but they're not my thing. The only brand I touch now is Moslem's. A lot of unnecessary information. <laughs> uh, this is a beer can. It's empty. They used to use aluminum for cans before, but these ones are made from the biodegradable plastic. What about the gun? This is my baby, a Beretta 92F. I've used one ever since I was a cop. Uh, he's a, she's a bona fide recoil gun equipped with a laser sight. I use special 10 round magazines with armor piercing bullets. I don't carry her so I can go around shooting everything in sight. She's strictly for protection. This is an ashtray I stumbled across in the antique store. It wasn't easy finding one of these. You don't need an ashtray for bent cigarettes after all. The butts are starting to overflow. I guess I should empty it. It's a half empty can of beer. The only beer most people can afford anymore is this imitation beer. It sucks remembering how good a cold one used to be. Looks like there's a note here. Is this an answering machine? This is a piece of paper with information on a client. I've been asked to look for a four-year-old son. You just don't see many ransom kidnappings nowadays. It's safer for kidnappers to quickly sell off the victim's organs to organ buyers, and they're guaranteed to see a return that way too. I've got a bad feeling about this one. This is a video phone with a built-in printer, though I've disabled the video from my end. Most of my cases come in over the phone. Clients don't particularly like meeting up in person. Yeah, it's like retro future, this whole thing. This is a miniature of Beyond. Ed made it for me. Ed's in a couple of pictures on the wall. Really? They keep wanting me to look at the wall. Uh, this is a new newspaper article from when I was rescued from the EMP survival ball three years ago. I spent 25 years inside this thing waiting to be found. I've had cosmoph cosmophobia ever since. I just can't go back out there anymore. Cosmophobia. When was the last time you heard the word cosmophobia? Like fear of space. <laughs> this is a picture of me taken when I was a police knot. So he's not a police knot anymore. This is a relatively small article in the corner of the newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are these alleged pictures I'm supposed to be looking at? Ah, here we go. This is a picture from when I was in the LAPD. Me and my partner, Ed, were always together. Edo Brown. Oh, yeah, Edo Brown. 
The only guy I trust with my life and my best friend and a good partner. That badge on my desk is a replica of the one I had back then. Edo Brown. I wonder if they're going to play that saxophone every time we see Ed Brown. <laughs> this photo was taken to commemorate the selection of the police knots. Five officers out of the world's police organizations were chosen and trained. We were called the original cops after the Mercury program's original seven. We're wearing ejection escape suits here. These are obsolete now. Back then, everyone thought the orange colored suits were cool. That's Salvatore Toscanini. He came from the NYPD. Apparently, he resigned from the Beyond Coast Police over 10 years or so ago. That's Gates Becker. He came from Scotland Yard in the UK. I heard he's risen pretty high up through the ranks of Beyond Coast Police. That's Ed. He was chosen out of LAPD along with me. He looks thinner here compared to the LAPD picture. That's Joseph Sadoki Takugawa. He came from Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department in Japan. He's now the head of the Tokugawa Group. I was absolutely ecstatic, but Lorraine, she was against me going to space. Then, when I went to Mars, that was when we started to drift apart. Okay. Are there more pictures? They're tiny. I was given this award by the mayor back when I was a cop. Me and Ed were all well-known team, were a well-known team in the LAPD. I already looked at this article, didn't I? Yeah, that's the one I already looked at. This is a newspaper article reporting the success of the first manned mission to Mars. I took part in it while undergoing my police knots training. It was written mm, 26 years before the article about my rescue. So from what I can gather, Jonathan has been basically in hypersleep or hyperspace sleep inside of the ball which I don't know what that is, for about 20 years. Then he comes back and he's just got cosmophobia. Uh, this is a newspaper article written at the time of Beyond Coast's completion. It was written about two years before the article about the Mars landing. Okay. Is there anything else to see here? The Beyond Coast looks like it's a, like a space station. The only thing they hadn't finished was the agricultural ring. That model Ed made for me is supposed to be the colony. I didn't see a model. I have a feeling I'm going to... Oh, here it is. It's a model of the beyond. <laughs> uh, I wonder, do I need to push this blue blinking button? Is there a video? Yeah. Let's look. I'm way behind on my bill. I keep expecting to get cut off any day now. I have a feeling this is going to be a little annoying to try to find what I'm supposed to click on. I should check the machine. Maybe there's a call from someone with a case. Sorry for uh, wasting my time. Still no offers. It was a wrong number. Mm. If you're just listening in. Uh, I'm going to try to read out or at least summarize what I see in some of the some of the, uh, the photos or things that I click on, especially if they don't comment. Uh, I got this pen when I was working at the LAPD. The mayor gave it to me along with that award. Knowing Ed, he probably still has his too. It was a pretty nice pen for the time. Okay, is there... Uh, these cabinets are filled with information on past cases and clients. They're not exactly a pleasant read, but the papers inside are worth their weight in gold. Yeah, more cabinets. Working in a place like this, I've had a help wanted sign posted by the entrance to the building for quite some time, but no takers. I know what that's like. Uh, also, I'm sick of looking at papers. Ah, I can't let it. I can't get them to open it. <laughs> These are some Venetian blinds I found at the antique store. I don't like the adjustable glass you get today. I put them up so you can't see inside the office from the outside. Okay, dude. Is this all right? Let's go outside. I haven't got anywhere else to go. This is where I spend most of my time. I could look at my newspaper articles until that client gets here. Not like I've got anything else to do. Okay, is there something? They obviously want me to do something. So I've already, let's see, have I looked at all the newspapers? They're trying to tell me, look at all the newspapers. Ah, this is the mission to Mars. Uh, that's what I did. 
Me and Lorraine ended up separating as a result of all the time I spent in space. Oh man, work. Uh, this is a picture of me encountering a Mars rover on the surface. It was sent to Mars with the Mars 96 mission. I thought that's all of them. Is that all the articles? Yeah, I already looked at this one. I thought I already looked at this one too. Uh, this is a newspaper article about my accident that occurred during the EMP's spacewalk outside Beyond. It was written three years after the one about the Beyond's completion. Yeah. Oh wait. Maybe I gotta click on the pictures. Uh, it's a picture of the, sp the test. It was a prototype police suit for use outside the colony, the successor to NASA's MMU. This image was taken from a camera aboard a nearby space shuttle. This was me and the Yuri as we were released from the hangar. It's a really interesting way to tell a story, by the way. Uh, this is a picture of me taken around the time of the accident. Does it tell the whole story? I'll read some of the article. A malfunction occurred in the Veer... Vimir thrusters of the Yuri EMPS prototype during a test spacewalk of the device yesterday. The Yuri had been scheduled to be used by the police knots outside the colony. The EMPs had since vanished without a trace. The Yuri is equipped with a survival ball, but because an SOS signal can't be isolated, the chances of a test pilot Jonathan Ingram being found alive are thought to be slim. The official test had been scheduled for tomorrow. I remember what Salvatore said. Whatever you do, don't screw this up, Johnny boy. Everyone back home's got to be watching. There were still a lot of people opposed to the space development back then. It all happened so fast. Before I knew it, the four of them were gone. Everything after that is a blur. Next time I opened my eyes, I was lying on a hospital bed. Well, maybe I gotta actually read the articles before I can move on. Oh, here we go. There's the knock on the door. They needed you to know that before you could move on. Wow, who's this? A clan actually showing up on time? Well, it's open. Dozo. That means go ahead. That's the literal translation. Hmm. Oh, Jonathan. Is that... Lorraine. But she married somebody else. Why is she here? Why am I closing in on her boobs? Yeah. Surprised? It's been what? 28 years? What are you doing here? 28 years? She looks good for 20 years. Like, Look at you, you haven't changed a bit. Yeah, well, you know. I could probably pass for your mother now. <laughs> no, you're looking good, babe. You're looking good. But why? How? Nandayo? I don't expect you to forgive me. I know I've got a lot of nerve coming here. You're the only one I can, who can help me. What's wrong? Something's happened to my husband. Oh, shit. I see. All right. Well, come on in. Dead husbands are my specialty. No, I made that up. To be honest, I'd rather not, she says. You wouldn't recognize me. I just wouldn't feel comfortable. Fair enough, Lorraine. Or should it be ma'am? Oh, so informal. At any rate, you'll need to fill me in. All right, so now we got a chance to poke around at her. Let's look at her. Lorraine says, Jonathan... Don't look at me like that. I'm 55 now. She doesn't look 55 in the picture, dude. That the artist, uh, uh, she says, uh, please don't look at me that way. I want you to remember me the way I was when we were together. Is that an Ellis? They cost a fortune here. Yeah, but this one's a little old. They're all rage, all the rage and on home. Home is capitalized like it's a place. Ellis changed the design of its bag every year while producing them in limited numbers, then destroys all the originals. That's, uh, Coach. Coach does that. Uh, that's why they're so expensive, isn't it? 
I think it's coach that does that. I don't know. I'm not very cultured when it comes to women's fashion. Uh, that necklace could have been, couldn't have been cheap. Yeah, it's Pearl. I thought it wasn't easy getting a hold of Pearls on Beyond. That's right. They haven't had any success with the culturing Pearls there. And the number of produced on home continues to drop every year. Okay, so Beyond is, I think, a rich kid's haven satellite station in space. And all the schlubs have to live on home, which is probably Earth. Can we poke her boobs? Please don't look at me that way. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just talk. Hey, Lorraine, ask about her request. Uh, why don't we get to it then? So, something's happened to your husband. Exactly three weeks ago, my husband Kenzo Hojo left for work and simply never came home. Dun, dun, dun. I've been to his company and the police, but no one will help me. And now you're trying home? I have a real bad feeling about the whole thing. Maybe he went into hiding. Ah, come on. People don't just disappear in a space colony. It's true. It's impossible to stay hidden. He hadn't received any threats? Not that I know of. It's as if he just vanished into thin air. It doesn't fit the profile of a ransom kidnapping. I'd say. Hmm. It's deeply personal. Uh, let's find out a little bit more about her family. You have any kids, Lorraine? I have a daughter. Her name's Karen. <clears throat> let's ask about her daughter. Uh, where does your daughter live? Karen is a news anchor on Beyond. A news anchor, huh? She's pretty famous there. Mm, let's ask about Beyond. Uh, what's Beyond like these days? Beyond's mm, different. A lot different. You wouldn't recognize it either. Everything settled down there. Everything settled down there? It's pretty much like any ordinary city now. Okay, what about Kenzo, her husband? So this Hojo guy, what's he like? Well, Kenzo is also a Nisai. That's a mixed. Uh, he works as a pharmaceutical engineer for Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. He's honest and hardworking. He'd never hurt anyone. Sounds like a great guy. I made that up. I brought a picture of him. That's him here. He looks old. Naruhodo. That means I see. Uh, yeah, it looks like a nice guy. You look happy. Yeah, I am. I was... anyway. I'll let you hang on to that, yeah? Yeah, I might need to know who I'm looking for. I'm kind of intrigued. A little early for that, isn't it? It's like a text adventure. Ah, let's ask about Hojo's behavior. You notice anything unusual about your husband before he disappeared? All the years I knew him, he'd been your typical company employee. He'd get up, leave for work, then come walking through the door at the end of the day. Same schedule, day in, day out. Quite a change from my hours. That's what Jonathan said. How can I explain? That's Jonathan's line. This is Lorraine. But the past few months, he'd become more unpredictable, you might say. You can't really draw anything concrete from that. You think he'd become involved in something, though? That's my gut feeling. Yeah. If there were indications of some sort of trouble beforehand, the chances of it being a ransom, kidnapping, are pretty slim. Let's ask about our marriage. How'd you guys meet? I moved to Beyond right after you went missing. <laughs> of course you did. Uh, after, much, uh, after how much you hated it? I just wanted to be closer to you any way I could. I met Kenzo at the Nihonjin Matsuri run by Tokugawa. Nihonjin Matsuri? It's a festival for Japanese people on Beyond. So why were you there? I have Japanese blood too, remember? Well, you're half. Let's ask about Tokugawa. The conglomerate's reach doesn't stop at Beyond. They essentially run space, and Joseph Sadaoki Tokugawa runs the group. He's just as well known on home as he is out there. If Hojo's a Tokugawa employee, I suppose we can't totally rule out he was kidnapped. 
You could get good money out of that, I imagine. No one on Beyond would even think of messing with Tokugawa. They're too afraid of the retaliation. It wouldn't be worth it. Any clues? Lorraine, I'm going to need more than just your instincts for this. Is there anything you'd consider a clue? I have a few things Kenzo gave me. Some drug capsules and a piece of a leaf. A leaf? I don't know what they mean, but it must be important. Capsules and a leaf? He said to me, if anything happens to me, give these to the police or someone you trust. That's quite a statement. See? And just that, like that, he disappears. What about these capsules? I guess we'll start with the capsules. That's them? Here they are. What are they for? I have no idea. I wonder if they're made by Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. Will you hang on to them for me? I guess she trusts me. Let's, what about the leaf? That it there? Here it is. I've never seen a leaf like it. Why is it cut in half like this? It was like that when I got it. Can I give it to you to hold on to? Yeah, of course. That's all I can ask about. Let's talk about old LA. Not a whole lot's changed, you know, since me and you lived here. New LA is a separate place just up north. We get the odd bit of snow like today as well. In LA? What the, what? Some real crazy weather. Snow in LA? Uh, I don't think so, man. Uh, literally, snow in LA? She says. The metro shut down once the ghettos completely took over, too. Hey, that's actually like really happening. Big difference between, uh, or from Beyond's growth, she says. Times have changed. This place got left behind. Let's talk about herself. All right, well, why don't you tell me about what's been going on with me? Wait. I've been working as a private investigator the past few years. Oh, it's Jonathan. As you've probably guessed, finding work can be a bit of a struggle, but I'm managing. I see. That's good to hear. Let's talk about work. On home, kidnappings are becoming almost as frequent as rapes and robberies. What the fuck? Trafficking people is more profitable than drugs or prostitution now. That's terrible. It's surprising to hear about a case like yours these days. So you'll help me? Oh, it's saying it, it hardly ever happens and beyond. I'm guessing that's like Elysium. It's like the uh, upper echelon. This is me speculating, by the way. I don't know. I need to hear more about the situation first. Can we talk more about it? No. Can we show, uh, let's show her the Hojo photo. So this is Hojo. I actually don't have that many pictures of him. I'm sure it'll come in useful. He looks like the type of guy Sadaoki would get along with. Let's show her the uh, capsules. Any idea what these could be for? I didn't really notice anything unusual about them. They'll probably uh, be able to get an analysis done, right? Yeah, sure. What about the leaf? To be honest with you, uh, I don't, to be honest with you, <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't see how something like this could be that important. But if he went out of his way to get it, give it to you, I suppose there must be something to it. I wonder what kind of plant it's from. Can you get an analysis performed? Capsules and a leaf. We'll have to get an expert for these. Do you know someone? You'd need to be sure they're not connected to Tokugawa. This is home. That won't be a problem. That's all we can do. That's a nice coat you've got. Yeah, I guess. If you can afford it, why not, right? I could never afford all those luxuries. They're not that all ah, uh, they're not all that expensive, at least not for us. Your husband must make good money. Uh, you're best not wandering around this area dressed like that. Hmm, we already looked at her purse. What about her gloves? Please, don't look at me that way. 
Was there anything I missed? Her request? So you want me to look for him? Please, help my husband. Any other clues besides what you just gave me? He had been talking about something lately, actually. If it turns out Tokugawa is involved, that could complicate things. Is there anything I missed? It's really like you're hunting around for information. You cut your hair. Yeah, several years back. I remember you liked my hair long, didn't you? Seems like a lifetime ago. She really doesn't look 55. So what do you think? It suits you. Uh, this is tricky because like, it's basically just a point and hunt. <laughs> Jonathan, I think I'm being followed. What? Hold on, I'll take a look. It's all right, I don't see anyone. If there is someone following me, they must be connected to Tokugawa. They'd follow you all the way to home like this? There's nothing they wouldn't do. Are you sure? Yeah, it's all in your head. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> this is where the game gets frustrating. I see your chaste hasn't changed. Gray always was your favorite color. Jonathan, you remembered. I can't believe it. Well, for Jonathan, it was like two freaking weeks ago, right? All right, you're going to see me clicking on a lot of the same. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't keep looking outside. I don't want to find someone who really is out there. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Is there something else? I can't see you very well over there. Why don't you come over here where there's more light? I don't think that's a good idea. We haven't seen each other in 28 years. You'd be shocked. I know it. I'm not that same girl anymore. Yeah, her face is definitely in shadow. Lorraine, why don't we continue? Okay, I've already shown her everything. I've already talked about everything. Uh, I guess talk about yourself more. Uh, there's still plenty of ways to make a buck around here for someone like me. Uh, I can imagine. They don't call it the angel-less city for nothing. Things are going alright. As long as I, you know, keep some realistic expectations, I'll survive. You smoke now? Yeah. It doesn't carry as much stigma here as it does out there. You never smoked before? Hmm. Well, I was an astronaut back then. That was in the uh, prologue. Things are going all right. Oh, I already read that one. Let's talk about old L.A. more. None of the friends or contracts I had are still around. But I do know guys in the same business. Are you married, Jonathan? I noticed your ring. Oh, no. I just keep a lot of old stuff around. This is from when we were together. Damn thing left a mark on my skin, you know? Yeah, that's Lorraine's thing. I had no idea. I see you still keep pictures of me, too. Yeah. That's nice to know. Feels like it was all just the other day. I'm sorry. Here I am talking to you about my husband and everything. I plan on staying here the rest of my life. I have no intention of going back to space. That's Jonathan talking. I can smoke as much as I want that way too. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not gonna have a very long life, brother. Uh, so what about my case? It's just that I like it here. I don't know, Lorraine. Uh, 
Now let's talk about work a little more. It's even more dangerous here now that it was now than it was when it, I was a cop. Just be careful, okay? The police aren't equipped to handle certain types of cases, so that makes it easier to get work. Plus, we have our negotiator privileges. Negotiator privileges? We're permitted a certain level of police authority in the interest of public safety. You know, like entering a house related to an investigation or being allowed to own certain guns you don't you normally can't. Alright. I think we just gotta kind of exhaust all of these. It was taken, oh, this is the picture of Hojo. You show her the picture of Hojo and she says, it was taken a while back. He's gained some weight since then. You could try correcting it with some CG if you get the chance. <laughs> Man. So maybe I have to go through these until they repeat. Uh, let's show her the capsules. They look like ordinary medicinal capsules if you'd find any pharmacy. Let's show her the leaf again. I wonder what kind of plant it's from. All right, let's just ask her about her request again. Please help my husband. Any other clues besides what you just gave me? Eh, we already read that one. We already read that one. Her family. It's just the three of us, my husband, my daughter, and me. A loving husband, a successful daughter, must be nice. Jonathan? Ask about her daughter. She'll be 27 soon. She's still single. Hard to believe you have a 26-year-old daughter. I'm 55 now, remember? And she's single? Hmm. Beyond will be celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Things have slowly gone downhill over the years, though. You're always looking over your shoulder wherever you go, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I read you. It's always been that way in the city. And like I was saying, Tokugawa's influence is everywhere. You could practically call the entire colony one big business. Everyone will tell you that Beyond Coast's policy is a major issue today. Uh, while the police, or while the world's politicians are publicly declaring that Beyond, as it exists today, poses both economic and security risks to outer space, at the same time they're clearly interested in cozying up to Tokugawa for obvious reasons. Beyond will be celebrated. Yeah, I already read that. So Beyond basically runs, or Tokugawa, the pharmaceutical company, pretty much runs Beyond. Uh, let's see uh, his behavior. He'd become angry and frightened. That wasn't like him. I'd never seen him break down like that before. So you're saying someone might have been targeting him for the same reason or for some reason? He never told me what was going on, whatever it was. I'd say he was trying to tell you something with the capsules and the leaf. Let's ask about their marriage. Forgive me, Jonathan. I couldn't have survived on my own. I was lonely. I wanted someone to be there. That's when Kenzo came along. Uh, ask about Tokugawa. They took advantage of the space development boom more than anyone. They essentially have the power to shape space economy however they want. Oh, it's like Tesla. Is there a second wave of Japan bashing going on there too? No, nah, it's just the opposite. Thanks to Tokugawa, the colony's economy is flourishing. But everything else is in another story. In another story. Uh, yep. What else we got? More clues. Is there anything else? There was one thing he kept mentioning. It was the word Plato. Hmm. Plato Nanika. That means. He's asking about Plato. You got me there. More clues? Anything else? Nope, that's it. Plato Nanika. Let's see if you can get that leaf analyzed. And we got, now we got, we can ask about Plato. Plato, hmm. Could he have said Pluto? To be honest, I'm not sure anymore. We still haven't been to Pluto though. No, thanks for bringing me up to speed. There's certainly more to this than meets the eye. So, you'll help me, Jonathan? I'll pay you whatever you want. Dollars or yen? Just let me know. Hold on, Lorraine. I only get paid in pesos. I added that part. 
Let's accept the case, because otherwise there's no game. I can't give you an answer today, Lorraine, but I will consider it. And the answer might be yes. Don't tell me you're not going to help me. I didn't say that. I just said the answer might be yes. I'm still in shock. Thanks. I'll hang on to these in the meantime. All your evidence so you can't go to another detective. Well, I'll be in touch. I'm staying at the Hotel New Rose in Beverly Hills until the weekend. Call me anytime. Beverly Hills? That shithole? Jonathan. Again, I, I don't expect you to forgive me. I didn't wait for you. I'm sorry. I didn't wait. I was so happy when I heard you'd been rescued. If only they'd found you a little sooner, I, things that would have been different. I, I just wanted you to know that. I, Kenzo was there. Uh, how'd you get here, by the way? Uh, I rented a car at the hotel, uh, this old classic. I see. I can see why this style of game didn't really catch on, by the way. Well, it was nice to see you again. Uh, bye. <laughs> it's a terrible voice for her. Oh, that's rough, man. I feel bad for Jonathan. And now his ex-wife. Oh, yeah, grab another cigarette, buddy. <sighs> Smoke away all your problems. Lorraine, I, I miss you, Lorraine. I miss you, too. Like you wouldn't believe. She doesn't exist anymore, man. She's had a whole life. Hmm. You gotta let it go, Jonathan. What? There's footprints by your door. Or by your car. Oh no, they're gonna blow up her car. Get away from the car, she says. Oh no! They blew up the car. They fucking killed <gasps> Lorraine. The love of his life. Yeah, Holy shit. shit. Where'd he go? You're toast, buddy. I hope I get a gun. I do get a gun. Wait, do I? He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Oh, I got a reticle. I do have a gun. I hope I got enough ammo. Oh, dude, this is just like the sniper wolf fight. But in 2D. Oh, this is the sniper wolf fight. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I gotta reload. That's all. Aren't these armor piercing rounds? They don't do any damage for freaking armor piercing rounds. I know I'm hitting you. <laughs> Move, damn it! There's a trash truck that just drove by. So, damn it, where'd he go? If you never got a chance to play it, this totally reminds me of the Metal Gear Solid 4 uh, mobile game. Am I supposed to just shoot stuff in the environment? It's the dilly. What am I doing here? It's like a shooting room. Just shoot everything up. Oh, if you if you shoot off screen, is this supposed to be a gun game? I think I have infinite ammo. Okay, 
给我一次力了。Am I stuck? What's supposed to happen here? I just shot the whole place up. Is it glitched or am I doing something wrong? <laughs> this is like Uzi style. Uh, I don't know what to do. Seriously. There's like, I'm just shooting the whole damn place up. There's nothing left to shoot. It feels like a PS1 game, man. Like, sometimes those old game design stuff, was, it was a little janky. Oh, look at that. You see those little feet right there? I bet that's it. Aha! <laughs> you dick. You make me waste all that ammo and fuck around like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he's pulling a sniper wolf right now. At least I don't have to take pentazamine. Benzos. Oh, come on. Did he just run off? I think he ran off. Hmm. Hiding behind the ravioli company, huh? He ran down the alley, past the ravioli place. I've got you now. It's an alleyway. Goes back quite a bit. Well, can we go there? Enter the alley, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fucking with the former police knot. You don't know who you fucking with, buddy. Mm. Where's he gone? He's fast, all right. He just ran in here a second ago. So much for following his footprints. That snow obviously didn't stick here. Dudes, I could totally make a game exactly like this. It's so easy. <laughs> There's some kind of liquid on the ground. Yeah, it's blood. It's white blood. No, it's white blood. Because he was a cyborg ninja. He's running artificial blood? Yeah, just like Raiden. This is blood? It leads further back. Yeah, can we go? What's the deal? Uh, someone's placed a garbage bags next to it. Maybe it's full. Yeah, okay. The trash can? Can't see very well from here. How do I move forward? This wall's got pipes going up and down it. These pipes, they're barbed wire all over them. It doesn't look like you could climb them. Why would I need to? This is made out of brick. It doesn't look like there's anywhere you could hide. There's a dumpster up ahead there. Yeah, let's go to the dumpster. Is there a way to... Yeah, it's a concrete wall. Can I go there? He might be hiding in here. Uh, if the blood in the ground is his, it's not very likely he's hiding in that hollow on the right there. There aren't any pipes in this wall. Yeah, well... Yeah, I don't understand. Oh, advance. There's a button to advance if you click on that big dark spot. All right, I'll check out that hollow on the right while I'm at it. Hmm, not here. I'll keep on going. Where is he? More blood? He must be around here. Damn it. I wasted a lot of time back there. This is the dumpster I saw before. Jeez, I can smell it from here. These garbage bags have been placed next to the dumpster. They're made out of biodegradable plastic. The plastic has started to decompose. They must have been here a while. It looks like the bags are full of old food. Gross. He couldn't possibly be inside of one of these. This was done with spray paint. This definitely doesn't look like blood. It could easily be inside of here. There doesn't seem to be any blood stains on it though. He certainly could be in there. There's something about it, actually. There's a door on the right, anyway. I'd better be careful around there. 
Those are wooden boxes filled with empty bottles. They'd be the perfect size for someone to hide behind. That's definitely one place he could be. The alley goes back some more. Let's advance. He has to be around here. Let me check some more. They do a good job with like creating motion in the scene. Oh, it doesn't let me... He has to be around here. Let me check some more. Let's see, we got... Could be in the dumpster here? There's a drum up ahead. Yeah. That other doorway is a possibility too. It's too dark to see up ahead. Well then what the hell? He's losing a hell of a lot of blood. The trail stops here, meaning he can't be far away. He's going to pop out, isn't he? Oh, he is in the trash bags. Damn it. No, it's a rat. Oh, shit. There he is. He's in the doorway. Come on, dude. The second doorway. Oh, he's dumping, jumping between the two doorways. That's a good thing it healed all of my health. I could totally see the pitch for this game. But even though like games were just slower back then, I don't know, I don't see why this would, I don't think it would be popular. <laughs> the world is interesting though. Oh man, he's really cooking my goose. My health is really low. Looks like I got him, I think. I don't get it. I definitely hit him. This guy even human? Is it Vamp? Let's advance. I am not going to let you get away. Mm. Come on, nobody's this fast. He stopped to write, I'll kill you in his blood. Whatever, it's a dead end anyway. There's something else on the ground. He stopped to write, I'll kill you <laughs> in blood. It's writing. It's different from the graffiti on that dumpster. Yeah, I'll kill you, it says. Bastard. Is this some kind of a game to you? Hmm. He left this message for me. He should still be around here, though. This wall goes all the way to the back. There's nowhere he could hide. It's a concrete wall. I don't see anywhere else he could hide. I don't think he'd hide in the same place twice. Is he hiding in here again? You're gonna kill me, huh? So what's taking you so long? Show yourself, asshole. There aren't any places to hide here. Yeah, there's nowhere to hide anywhere. There are two more wooden boxes here. These are empty, though. It doesn't look like he's here. Yeah. Can't really tell from here. Can't see very well. But I'm pretty sure this is a dead end up ahead. Sweet animated scene. Jump, Jonathan, get out of there. fuck do you want to save you know what I do I never knew that was Lorraine's theme it's kind of like a little Easter egg thing for uh, Kojima fans actually 
It was very interesting, hearing all the familiar sounds. I wonder if Lorraine's going to make it. It stopped snowing. One last chance to look at the stars together. I, I missed you so much, Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Lorraine. That watch, you still wear it? Yeah, it was just last week for me. Of course, you know I am with time. I kept it all this time. I kept my watch. Jonathan, please. Uh, uh, Karen, she's sick. Uh, you have to help her. My daughter, she's sick. And my husband, he's missing. Jonathan, yeah. You knew her? Yeah, she was an old friend. Poor thing. She came from beyond, huh? No, she came back. She came back to me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for choosing American Space Lines Flight 797 to Beyond Coast. We have completed our gravity turn and our proceeding is scheduled to the colony. As we are now entering zero gravity, you should begin to feel sick. Uh, press the call button located by your window and one of your flight attendants will assist you. <laughs> Everybody begins to feel sick. You okay? You don't look too good. I'm not a big fan of space, man. You have SAS? Interesting. This is your first time? No. I had an accident out here a long time ago. I've had cosmophobia ever since. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Hey, you should ask one of the stewardesses for some medicine. The call button is the red switch on the wall. I'm good for now. Thanks. Conversation is the best way to take your mind off of something. We should take advantage of the opportunity. Tony Redwood, nice to meet you. Name's Jonathan Ingram. Same here. We're both tough guys. Yeah. Hmm. You know what, dudes? I think this is this is probably the place to to crop this episode. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this. If you want to actually play through the whole game. I mean, in terms of story, I'm intrigued. I'm curious. It is kind of like reading a book and watching an anime. And playing a game at the same time. <laughs> really unusual and unique. Oh, look. Check out his jacket. He has that logo from the uh, from the intro with the Police Knots logo. Um, that guy looks awfully suspicious. And I'm going to just take a wild guess. I'm going to take a very wild guess that he's probably going to be a bad guy. <laughs> I don't want to say. Uh, let's check this out. Jonathan even gets to smoke his uh, cigarettes on this uh, space flight. It's very fascinating, the uh, the style of game, uh, definitely very slow paced, doesn't seem to fit, like something like this doesn't seem to fit in like modern gaming. Uh, I don't know, I could be wrong about that though, you know, you guys let me know. I do think the story writing is pretty compelling, it's pretty interesting. I don't know if I like the whole, you know, hunt and click thing. Everything's about like searching around to find where you're supposed to click. I don't know, sometimes that doesn't fly very well for me because I'm just like, checking everything nothing seems to freaking work but uh i don't know you let me know like i said i will do a full playthrough if you want to see it but uh otherwise yeah i don't know i'm just gonna let this one slide but we'll see uh leave the comments uh, below if you want to see more all right dudes that's it for me on this one a ciao buddy